Hello guys, Drakken the Southern Circle is back, and welcome to Charles Darwin's Game of Survival. As you guys know, maybe I'm a geologist, so I've had to I've had to learn a lot of this before, and this is a fun little game. Hello, I'm Charles Darwin, British naturalist. My observations have led me to formulate the theory of natural selection, which I believe is the engine that drives evolution. Make a selection above to learn about the process and see how species evolve. So we're going to play the game. <laughs> Who wants to live a million years? All right. So we got to survive. We got to grow our species and survive an ever-changing environment. So let's proceed. <laughs> so this is how evolution works you get over time you get two species that mate and that branches off and as those branches off those genes depending on where they end up living environmental wise changing uh, environments predators uh, types of food present can dis determine their physical traits and that's how you get all these three different branchings off and a failed species is what you're seeing here as if they they went extinct and our goal is to find one is to create one who is able to live a million years through a changing environment so, <laughs> i love his voice it's, that's how charles darwin actually sounded so this is a good one the stripey the, the long legs allow for speed. All right. All right. Let's let's get some color. I want some red. We don't want any fur. Yeah, there we go. That's a good one. And I'll just throw this one in there. Proceed. You've made your selections. Now, as the environment changes, the animals with traits most suited to the new environment will thrive. Your goal: help your species survive the next one million years. Proceed. I have two genetic mutations remaining. All right. At any point in the process, I may use my life preservers. Do not use them up too quickly because the environment could change. All right. Oh. Ha ha. I think a delicious fruit has begun to grow on tall stalks in your habitat. Are your animals tall enough? Remember, you can use a life preserve at any time to pause the game and make a selection. I don't know. They're pretty tall. They might be able to eat those. I'm going to proceed. Oh. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, yeah. My guys are tall enough. <laughs> the only thing we have to fear is fear itself. Oh, and the hungry predators invading the area. Who look... <laughs> I love... It just looks like a <laughs> murderous dude. Remember, you can use your life preserver. All right, I will do that. We need them to be stripy. Oh, more. They need to be... So they're tall, so they're already going to be fast. And they need to be striped. I want to... All right, they're furry, so... Let's introduce this guy in there. See if we can get him to be striped. No. Okay. Woo. All right. We lived. Uh oh. Oh, of course it would get hot. Uh, so it's getting hot, and our guys got fur, so we need to get rid of it. So just me is it getting hot in here? I think we may be entering into a period of global warming. Remember, you can use your life preserve. You're darn right. I'm gonna use it. All right. So the the taller they are, the more likely they will be to have better 
cooling abilities and they have fur so we need to get rid of that fur oh the smallness too all right so they're fat too we need to see if we can make them skinny and hairless that's what we gotta look for see you know we want something like this that's got no hair come on don't make oh wait can I go back dang it uh, that was I was probably a good one and I something like this just God, I want one with no hair I was trying to prevent them from having hair but every time they end up with no hair of oh, they're gonna get too hot and they're gonna die yo okay he's so skinny don't get furry don't get furry oh oh we're gonna survive are we gonna survive yes yeah baby my species is a survivor all right wow your species survived for a million years who knows one day their descendants could rule the planet i hope you gain some insight into how natural selection works all right so let's try that again all right all right we're gonna who wants to live a million years He's, this time we're going to I'm gonna throw in a stubby furry one a tall green one and a skinny one I want it to be diverse yeah we go all right we got some diversity here let's we have made our changes let's see if we can last year one okay all right no oh, tall berries again <laughs> oh, we got tall berries again oh my guys are I don't know I have all the short ones are gonna die out all the short ones are gonna die out I'm gonna use my mutation and I'm going to add in a furry tall one of course it's probably gonna get hot then oh come on ah oh, there was one I just saw it and I missed it I want a furry tall one that... oh okay go ahead I th yeah so you see what happened there was I had uh, of course the this dude it's this <laughs> so what happened there in that last bit was all the short guys died out because selective because their food source is taller and off the ground they nature so selected the taller ones to live to live more and the shorter ones died out because it was a it has a had a negative impact on the species so these guys seem to be I think they're gonna be good against the invaders because the multiple colors give them diversity and some camo and they're tall enough to get away so I'm gonna proceed no oh, oh! <laughs> The heat is killer. Your species found out they were, they, that when they were overheated under all the fur. Ah, oh, man, what happened? I didn't know. When did it get hot? I thought it was just, I thought it was just the, this dude up here. I thought it was just predators. Ah, oh, man. Okay, well, let's try that one more time. It hasn't gotten cold yet. One of the favorite ones, there's a meteor strike in this game that just randomly happens, and it's just supposed to be a random event. Alright, we're going to throw this guy out. I'm going to have them be short and stubby. Alright, there we go. I don't, I don't know. Alright, let's see how this goes. Watch, t of course the freaking tall fruit comes again. <laughs> All my fat dudes are gonna die out. All right, we gotta do a genetic mutation. Ooh, I'm gonna do that. 
Get in there, buddy. Dang it, I wanted him to get red. All right. Oh, it's getting hot. It's getting hot again. Yeah, we're going to have to do it. Oh, no. They're all furry. We need them to... We need them to be really thin. We need them to go on the Atkins diet here. That one's pretty thin and doesn't have that much fur. So I'm going to introduce him in there. Oh, no. They got fat. Oh, they died. Oh, the heat. The heat. They couldn't take the heat. Yeah, see, I should have kept going. Oh, well. Let's try that one more time. Just one more. <laughs> yes, I can. I've already proved that. All right. You're going to be the fat dude. All right, I'm going to have a tall, stripy one in there. And let's get... I want... I don't want him to get too fat. All right, you. Let's see. Let's go. So don't you do that. Oh, oh, well, see, these guys are fine. They're all fat, though. These guys are fine. So I'm going to continue. And selective breeding, our nature is going to preserve. All right. So nature has preserved the taller ones and gotten rid of the shorter ones. So these guys are fat. I really hope it doesn't get hot after this. We are going to add in the stripey guys. Let's get some stripes in there. The stripes help camouflage. Oh, yeah. Don't get... Yes. All right. So it's getting cold. Finally, it's getting cold. We're going to have use our last genetic mutation. And the closer they are to the ground the less their bodies have to regulate heating up their tall legs. So we're going to add in this guy because he's got some patch of fur on the top of his head. He's got fur around the sides. He still has a stripiness for the predators and he's got shorter legs. So hopefully this works. The cold is the hardest to adapt to. Oh, they got fat. Oh, oh, yes, yes. Yeah, we did it. Our species survived. All right, so because they were already fat, they already had that going for them, and then I added in the fur, and it selectively, it's, it, the nature pushed the species to grow more fur. So, yeah, but they stay, even, the, and they stay tall, so they didn't get short. So one way, another way to beat it is let them get short and fat, and they'll be able to beat it, because they won't have to, uh, they'll be able to withstand the cold. So... All right, we survived. We survived the cold and the heat. So that's gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna go ahead and close out that. Oh, I just noticed the party hat. So and, and that's a fun. It's a fun way to learn about evolution and natural history, or not natural history, but natural selection. So congratulations, you're a survivor. Yay! So I'm gonna go ahead and close this video here. See if you go ahead and play this game. I'll put a link in the description below so you can give it a shot yourself and see if you can uh, survive see if you can find the uh, see if you can just 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 see if you can <laughs> excuse me see if you can sub uh, I'm, I'm, I'm messing up my words see if you can survive a changing environment but thanks for watching thanks for subscribing I'm Drock in the Southern Circle and I'll see you guys next time Merp, merp.